Hello FM fans, I am Oxygen Star and I shall attempt to show you some basics of AdLib Tracker 2. Hit it! So let's start by making a basic instrument. You can get to the instrument editor by hitting Control I. Okay, now we have instrument 1 highlighted so we can hit Tab Next to edit its parameters. Which brings us to the carrier slot. Um, we'll do some basic uh, settings first just to get started. We can change all the settings with page up and page down. So let's do that to the attack rate. Uh, by hitting page up, we'll bring it all the way up to F. Uh, hit down arrow key to the decay rate. We'll bring that up to 2 using page up. Sustain level up to 2. And release rate up to 2. We can leave the output level at 3F, which is maximum output. And for now, we'll leave the waveform type at sign. We'll get into that later. To get to the modulator slot, we can hit Enter. And we have the same set of parameters. So let's do the same thing for now. We have the attack rate highlighted, so let's hit Page Up to go to F. Decay rate to 2. Sustain rate to 2. And release rate to 2. And just to spice it up, let's do waveform type pulse sign. Spacebar to initialize that. You could hit enter to go back to the carrier slot. If you wanted to check those parameters again, escape to back out. Now we're at the instrument one again. And it's to the left, you can see the settings have changed because that's the instrument we just edited. We can name our instrument by hitting enter. Sick Uber lead yo enter to confirm and now we have that instrument stored so let's get back to the pattern editor and lay it down default octave when you open up adlib tracker is four let's change the octave to six which you can do that with control and any of the number keys will change you to which octave you want and I'm going to hit the Z key on my keyboard, which is going to be the note C, and that will put it down for me. Nice. Beautiful. So now let's make a basic loop that we can hear so we can edit the parameters of the instrument while it's playing. So we already have C6 laid down. Let's just put... A command I'm going to use right now is the D command, which is a pattern break, which is very helpful if you just want to loop a certain section of the pattern. Just for now, while we edit the settings to get a sound that we like. So I'm going to hit D in the effects column. And in order to get our pattern to play, we have to put it in the pattern order um, to hear it for playback. So we can hit enter to get up top to the pattern order there. We're on pattern zero, so we're going to hit zero, zero, enter to confirm, and enter to go back down where we just were. So now when I hit F9, which is the loop current pattern uh, command, it should play that and loop it when it hits the pattern break. Perfect. And F7 is the command I'm using for stop. So now we have a basic loop going. Let me just... Jazz it up. Best loop ever. So now that I made a basic loop, we can go back to the instrument editor and mess with the parameters till we hear a sound that we like. So I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Loop it. Control I and tab again. And now we can mess with it.
All I was doing is just changing the attack, decay, sustain, and release, and switching the waveforms. That's all I was doing. And to mess with it some more, some other features in the instrument editor, is the feedback strength, which is, I guess, the ratio of how much uh, the modulator is getting fed into the carrier. I believe, I don't know, I just do this by ear, and whatever it comes out that I like, I keep. select which type of synthesis we want, which it's on FM by default, but we can switch to additive. Which is pretty neat. Add some vibrato. And then the last thing at the bottom is changing the octave rate, which I don't really know what it does for each instrument, but I just do it by ear again. the most useful feature in this whole program if you ever get stuck you can hit F1 at any time in the program and it'll actually pull up the related help in that section you don't so you don't have to go searching through the help menu every single time which is awesome so right now if I'm like hey how do I do a command for a pitch slide I just hit F F1 when I'm in the command column and I find out it says frequency slide up too. So I know I can do that and and do it up. Which I already was doing a lot of because I'm I don't know. Same thing applies if I hit enter to go back to the pattern order and I want to know how to do some features with the pattern sequencing I hit F1 and I'm in the pattern order window key reference for all the shortcuts and everything. If I'm stuck uh, instrument editing, I can hit F1, and now I have all the commands for the instrument editing. So, that's probably why I got the hang of this program the most out of any other tracker. Because you don't have to keep searching to find the exact help that you need, it's right there every time. So, there you have it. Basic tracking, uh, got a loop going, and you're rocking it. You are ready to rip it up. So now that you got all that figured out, let's have a song take us out, hit it! Mm -hmm. 